What's up everyone, Bando here, and today we're doing my first review, and it's going to be on propellers, nope, gotcha, it's going to be on propellers, nope, gotcha, it's going to be on propellers, nope, gotcha, it's going to be on propellers, on what, the Versacopter, that's right, we have the Versacopter, this is a very good frame, slightly on the heavy side actually. So, but this is from Flight Test. Remember, you should always check out Flight Test because they're awesome people. Um, this frame is um, a beginner frame. It's slightly on the heavy side as I already said. Um, but it's cheap, it's $60. Um, it's actually not the cheapest, but it's very durable. Um, the only time that I crashed it was um, the only time that I actually broke some stuff was, um, I was like really high as line of sight on this quad and it just dropped out of the sky, I don't know how, maybe signal loss because I was running Spectrum, and old Spectrum, Spectrum sucks now, I run the Tyrannus, Tyrannus, um, and I'll do a review on that if you guys want to, if you guys want me to do, anyways, um, on this quad, I'm running the all Emacs power pack, which is that includes the 12 um, amp ESCs as well as the Emacs MT2204 2300KVs, and this is actually running on some um, Gemfan 6 6054. So basically, it's six by 4.5 propellers, six being the length and 4.5 being pitch. And this is this quad. This is version one, and this is version two. So the difference is, is that this one has all these ridges, and um, this is made out of Gemfan, and this is made out of Delrin. So they're pretty strong. And the this one, version two, is um, made out of um, aluminum. So that's really nice. It's also made out of Delrin here, as well as here. See the sides is made out of Delrin. Um, and th these um, motor mounts are more durable because they're also aluminum, so they're very strong on those hard impacts. I did dented it because I was racing and then I hit the concrete, but you know, crashes ha that happen sometimes. But it was actually able to handle the crash pretty well, so that's a huge plus right there. Um, so um, you can run four cell as well as three cells, and for the propellers, you can run these gem fan um, five by three propellers are very flexible. Um, so you sh then if you're if you're a super beginner, then you can run these props. They're the same. They're the different colors. Um, so oh yeah, propellers you should you could run different pr um, prop directions if you're doing like slight flying um, for your beginners out there. So you you won't lose orientation. Um. You can also run these HQs, which is slightly, um, not, in, it's slightly a bit more efficient than these more flexible ones. These are a little stiff, but, um, they still will break on impact, so they won't bend your shot motor shot. Um, and then you also have the 6x54, um, these are also jump fans. Just want to note out that these, um, shut up, motorcycle. You can run these propellers, they're more stiff, so they're very efficient. Um, but if you're on an impact, they might break, they they might um, bend your shaft. But I never had problems, and I crashed a lot, because, no, I crashed a lot, because I'm a beginner. I'm not a beginner, but like, if you're not crashing, you're not having fun. Um, so, this is running the NAS, the CC3D, um, I, oh yeah, the build is very nice. It's really easy to build. Um, there's plenty of space in here. Like, I have too much space, so um, you could run a lot of stuff like GPS, maybe um, bigger, more um, boosted FPV systems, maybe inside there, so it doesn't get too hot. But yeah, um, there's, a, it's very, there's a lot of space, and one plus is that it has an integrated power distribution. So you can also run P, um, Palulu right there. See those four pins? 
and four pins in here as well. So a huge plus over there. Um, my screws, I think, are steel or aluminum, but they're really strong. And yeah, it's very easy build. It took me like only about a day to build one of these. So um, for the beginners out there, I highly recommend you getting one of these um, frames because they're really good. And for FPV, if you're a beginner, you should go on these Lumineer or any. It could be Immersion RC. I also run Immersion RC. Um, 22, uh, 22 milliwatt AV transmitter, 5.8 gigahertz. This one I really like because it, there's a button so you can see what channel you're on and check it on and change it on the field. And then for extra durability, I'm running this SMA. I'm running this SMA extension going all the way up here. And the, and the huge plus about the version 2 is that the antennas, the plugs are all in the back, nice and tidy. So nothing's um, in here because this, this, this looks bad. This looks nice. So this huge plus, it's from a design from um, Luminaire, like the QOVs, the new QOVs at least. They have this rubber grommet um, connected to this XT60. And this is currently running like 12, 12 AWG, 12 gauge wire. That's pretty thick. I don't know why, but um, I am running the for my Talanus for FR Sky. I'm running the X4, the X8R um, with diversity. So this has plenty of range, like way too much range. So um, I will be probably doing the D4R if I want to do racing. So it'll be lighter and faster, more agile. Um, but this works fine and this is just connected on zip ties so it also with all these things on the back you could easily um, know your orientation because um, it's easy to spot and then my antenna is just the fat shark or immersion RC um, right hand circle eyes polarized like what everyone uses it's nice and flexible so you can go like that that way when you're racing it won't hit stuff but I, I'm not really, I don't go through trees and stuff, so... Eh, eh. I don't need to bend it all the way, or have it stick out at the bottom. But, yeah. So, for the FPV camera, I am running the CM-6650, um, if you can see this camera right here. 650 mini FPV camera from Luminaire. Um, they work really well. They could, it could run an OSD as well very durable I had a lot of crashes on this guy and it never broke and it's really cool good quality it's running um, it has a 650 TV line it's really nice and yeah so pretty much I, I would highly recommend this frame for beginners out there because it's easy to build very spacious for wires if you not a professional at soldering and this is actually one of my first frames um, and they still fly today, so yeah, um, I highly recommend, make sure you, you subscribe and share and do all the things, and peace out.